And for more on the challenges faced by veterans, we go to the nation's capital. An estimated 240,000 veterans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan are unemployed. Thousands more will be returning home in the coming months to a struggling economy. Without steady income, some vets will find themselves without stable housing. As Congress tries to make it easier for veterans to get hired, a new report paints a troubling picture of the nation's homeless vets. Michael Lawson reports. November 11th this year was like many other Veterans Days. During ceremonies at Arlington Cemetery outside Washington, President Obama laid a wreath in honor of those who have served their country. The president referenced a promise he made to America's youngest soldiers two years ago. I said that when your tour ends, when you see our flag, when you touch our soil, you'll be home in an America that is forever here for you, just as you've been there for us. While 9% of Americans nationwide are unemployed with even more underemployed, 12% of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans are out of work a figure two points higher than 2009. According to the Labor Department, the younger age of veterans from these wars mimic the high unemployment of their peers as a whole. The president's plan to offer tax credits of up to $9,600 to businesses that hire veterans passed in the Senate Thursday in a rare 95-0 to zero vote. South Carolina Republican Senator Jim DeMent was a lone voice of opposition to the credits, arguing that tax credits for hiring had not been proven to work. By using a politically sensitive group the day before Veterans Day, the Democrats are hoping they can trick Republicans into further complicating the tax code when we should be doing everything possible to simplify it. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce and the International Franchise Association also agreed Thursday to a challenge by President Obama to hire 100,000 veterans by 2013. Often joblessness and homelessness go hand in hand. Sandra Berry served in the Army for seven years. After being honorably discharged due to an injury, Berry was without steady employment for over a year and struggled to make ends meet. And here I am in the military, you know, and I'm working at McDonald's and I'm homeless, and it happens. The 100,000 Homes Campaign, run by New York-based Community Solutions, has set a goal to house 100,000 of the nation's homeless by July 2013. A recent study by the campaign revealed that veterans not only represent a disproportionate number of the homeless, but also stay homeless longer than non-veterans. While veterans are 9% of the population, they represent over 15% of the homeless. Two-thirds of homeless veterans reported being homeless two years or more compared with half of non-veteran homeless. Jake McGuire of 100,000 Homes says the older age of homeless veterans is part of the reason for their extended homelessness. For a group that is older uh, and that has maybe been sort of uh, forgotten for a longer period of time, you would expect to see a, a longer rate of homelessness. The group study also revealed homeless veterans are significantly more likely to report health conditions leading to increased risk of death, including liver disease, kidney disease, and HIV AIDS. Despite health care and other benefits offered through the Department of Veterans Affairs, McGuire says the disconnect between the services and the veterans may be caused by larger ideas about the homeless. I think it starts uh, with a, a long-standing notion in this country that we need to treat homeless people before we can house them. So if we find someone who is mentally ill or who's very sick or maybe who has a drug habit, for a long time we focused on trying to treat that person's symptoms uh, before we actually treated their homelessness. McGuire says despite the sobering statistics, the number of homeless veterans has dropped 80 percent over the past five years due to an increased focus on the issue by Veterans Affairs. Michael Lawson, FSRN, Washington.